Hi, welcome back to my water wheel project. Last time I built these two walls that will support the wheel at the end of the flume slash head race depending on where you live. The next thing to do is install large beams on the top of the walls. I use these old gate posts as they were pressure treated and should last a long time. To fix the beams to the wall I needed to drill holes through the beams. The only drill bit I could find long enough was an old fashioned auger bit with a square tape around The drill bit was only just long enough so I couldn't cut it down and use it in a power drill. Unfortunately square tape will not work in a three jaw chuck. I marked the positions of the holes with the drill bit, checking I was being at least roughly accurate, then drilled holes in the top of the wall. The threaded rods were inserted with a mix of straight cement, and with a bit of fiddling I seated the beam on the wall. Once the cement dried, I tightened down the nuts, securing the beams in place. The next job is to build the head raced channel, which should hopefully look something like this. I ordered this cedar from the local sawmill a couple of weeks before, and we'll use it to build the whole aqueduct type structure to bring the water to the top of the wheel. The channel is made of two 8 inch boards on the bottom with two 6 inch boards on the side, so I start by making long L sections. All the metal hardware in this project is stainless where possible and I used washers with the screws to reduce the pressure on the wood surface. With it all going to plan so far, I can get a bit excited. It's a flume! Oh, channel, part of a flume. Looking good though. Next I started cutting 2 by 2s to make the frames that surround the channel. A stop block really speeds this kind of operation up. I know there are much better ways to cut joints like this, but it works. On the other hand, I wouldn't have said no to a dado stack or a router table. There were a lot of these joints to cut, but with music, it went quickly.
I did a dry fit to see if everything worked, but as the wood is very wet, and therefore heavy, the channels will be assembled in situ once the scaffold support structure is built. But that's for the next video. Thanks for watching.